Welcome back. Today's temperatures actually overachieved a little bit as we got some sunshine breaking through the clouds. We had thought, you know, 35 to 37 degrees. So we got two degrees more than that. 39 for the official high. That is below average. Average this time of the year, low to mid 40s. And we won't be getting near that unless we're talking about the storm that's heading our way for Thursday and Friday, but that's going to come more with liquid sunshine rather than the next couple of days. We have clear skies for Lidditz, Lancaster, Red Lion, and Wrightsville. You can really see the stars now breaking out through the clouds, but the winds, they're still out there, and so it's adding some chill. Current numbers east of the mountains, we're still close to 30 degrees. West of the mountains, low 20s, and some of those areas did have snow overnight into early this morning, which caused some issues out towards Pittsburgh, but locally, other than a quick coating in parts of northern Perry County, we had reports Mifflin Juniata as well. That was about it. Our hourly forecast calling for readings tomorrow morning safely below freezing and likely just climbing above it heading into lunchtime. And keep in mind, the breeze is going to continue here around this center of low pressure. So the next couple of days, while it's relatively quiet, we have low pressure moving out, high pressure nudging its way in. So that difference in pressure causing the uptick in wind here. Not only that, the cold air is on the move too, and we'll talk about how much cold air in just a moment, but for tomorrow again, highs middle to upper 30s, a lot of sunshine, clear skies Monday night into Tuesday. Tuesday is totally sunny as well. So we have a lot of sunshine for Tuesday into Wednesday. It's more Wednesday night and Thursday clouds begin to increase and we've been talking about this storm a lot. And even though it's cold and the outlook is cold beyond this storm, we just can't get everything to line up for snow. In fact, there's this large pool of warm air coming up from the south ahead of the storm system that will change any light wintry mix at the onset right into some heavier rain, heavier rain than leading into Friday. And before the cold air dives down from northwest to southeast, we may see a quick changeover to snow during the day Friday. Accumulating snow, I think, is going to be tough to get. But just keep in mind, there's a lot of cold air here by next weekend. So the headliner may be at first the wintry mix and then again changing to plain rain and a cold rain at that. But Saturday into Sunday, so Christmas weekend turning much colder and windy. So Saturday and Sunday, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day look very blustery. Temperatures likely in the 20s during the day. So while that cold air waits till after the storm, not quite cold enough for snow Thursday and Friday. Nick, over to you.